Yay! Go away. I'm watching my stories. You weren't watching anything. You were sleeping. It's what I call nightmares. Like the one I'm experiencing right now. We figured out how to change Spoon back to normal. You guys are still on about that? We need to find a portal to hell. Think about it. Where is the most terrifying, cursed place you can think of? Checking each other. Yeah, we need to go check each other. Yeah, we're going to go check each other. What's in Tonopah, Nevada? No. Come on, if we get spooned there, we can turn him back to normal. No. But no. Wait. No. <laughs> I'll have to distract myself with something. Something from the 70s and Canadian. Witches Night Out is a Canadian animated special that debuted on NBC on October 26, 1978. It starred Gilda Ratner and Catherine O'Hara. Afterwards, it was shown on both the Disney Channel and Fox every year from 1983 to sometime in the late 90s. Now, I did not grow up with this. I had not heard of it. And the only reason I knew about it was a friend had a vague memory and went on a crazy Google search for hours trying to find the name of this weird old cartoon that was like if Schoolhouse Rock and Otter Pops had a baby. I watched it and now I'm subjecting you to it. The movie opens with a music video of the movie we're currently watching. To be fair, the song rules and the animation is just so very uniquely 70s. You can't help but be charmed by it. Halloween, we're introduced to our main characters, Tender and Small. Yes, I know. And they yell all of their lines. Sorry, headphone users. Holy shit, Malicious is stacked. I hate Halloween, bleh. Yeah, Malicious, it's rotten, 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 rotten. And in this town, people just exclaim what they like and dislike to nobody in particular. Halloween is for children. I mean, one wouldn't want to see grown-up adults running around in silly costumes. Well, I do. You know, I didn't realize that we stumbled into the Halloween version of Footloose. I think that dressing up is just immature, but Halloween, surely it could be nice for everybody. Thanks, Cotton Candy Lady. And can I say it is really bold of these four adults to shit on other adults dressing up for Halloween. When you look like a wicked witch, you a mustacheless, charmless Gomez, you Colonel Mustard, and you those Muppets that go yip, 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 yip. Is something to make Halloween meaningful to adults as people. Hey, uh, Goodly, yeah, that's your name, yeah, just checking. You have heard of alcohol and sexy costumes, right? There are adult-only costume parties everywhere on Halloween. Adult men will wear their best inflatable help on being kidnapped by an alien costume, and girls will dress up as increasingly ludicrous sexy versions of mundane careers or children cartoon- Oh my god, that's hot. I don't know, it, it was the 70s, so maybe that just didn't exist. well, not alcohol, maybe like the sexy costume thing didn't really exist back then? Don't know, wasn't around. Couldn't we have a party or something? See? Poodle lady gets it. Party schmuddy, dress up like monkeys and hang from the chandelier. Man, who would have thought that two people named Malicious and Ron would be so unpleasant? I know where there is a haunted house. The old empty house on the edge of town. Exactly! Why wouldn't you guys just have a party in the village square after the kids go to bed? You specifically need a house with bedrooms? This is a swingers thing, isn't it? They're gonna make sweet, sweet periwinkle. And you, Malicious. You look after the food, and I, Goodly, will investigate the old empty house. Rotten, you shall accompany me. Ooh. Hmm? Wow, for two people who exclaim that they hate Halloween, they are super into this party they've been talking about for nine hours. I really don't blame Tender and Small for walking away from these weird adults. Meanwhile, at the Adams Family residence, Mock from Rock and Roll is lamenting their wasted life. Did you even know what that crappy Rock and Roll movie is? I like it, Apple. Look at me. Here it is, Halloween, and not one call. You're telling me that there's a witch that lives in this town who grants wishes and nobody is interested. See this magic wand? Magic power going to waste. I mean, have you tried flyers? It works for pizza places. Watch this. 
Well, I mean, how many people need their cat turned into a bat? Seems kind of like a very niche market. Uh, no, nobody wants me. Do you think like this pity party is a daily occurrence? Also, if you want customers to come visit, how about you clean up a bit? You've had that broken mirror with the child's soul trapped in it for 30 years. You ain't doing anything with it. Chuck it. Boy, look at this dump. It's really rotten. I would really like it if people would stop saying that when they walk into my condo. What a rundown mess! No one's been here for years. It's perfect. Guys, this is still trespassing, whether or not you think anybody lives there. We'll, we'll, we'll put the stereo over there. Yeah. The, the food over there. Yeah, yeah. We'll clear a big dancing space yeah. you guys are awfully confident that this house that's been abandoned for years has working electricity and floorboards that aren't rotted i get the feeling that this party's gonna have a lot of casualties <laughs> why bless my black lace bloomers a party i'm totally cool with b and e and property damage if it means forcing others to interact with me oh i'm having a party tonight oh my god this is how i'm gonna be in my 80s isn't it Right down to the annoying sidekicks. Just you wait, my darlings, till you meet your gracious hostess. Ugh, the dance floor is gonna look like Splatoon by the time I'm done with you bitches. Oh good, we're finally back to Precious and Small, you know, the main characters. Next door. Check his. Come on, Small, we'll scare them all! Oh yeah! I do really dig the construction paper masks that the kids have, but... Probably not what they were going with, you know, scaring wise. Oh, don't you look cute? Cute? Did you hear that? Cute! Again, look at you! You look like you're about to sing to me about the number three. The conjunction junction isn't scary, and neither are you two. <laughs> Trick or treat! My, my. Small and tender. Here's a little something for you. He gave us pocket sand. Give me something good to eat. Wow, wow, look who's here. Hold up, is that a jack-o'-lantern? You hate Halloween, but you have a carved pumpkin at your house, and you're handing out candy? Kind of? Guess who? Small and tender. Looking for handouts? Like, these are full-grown adults picking on eight-year-olds. Is there anything more pathetic than adults bullying children? So poor, tender, and small head home dejected after going to the only three houses in this whole town. <laughs> what, you want them to design more characters? Have you seen the people that we've gotten so far? Uh, uh. Halloween is many fun. Wait, why are they in a giant bed now? Well, bang up job, guys, establishing that they're siblings so I didn't get immediately confused at the opening of this scene. We didn't scare anybody. You got your Halloween costume at Zellers. Of course not. Guess who's your babysitter tonight? Ew, what's that? Hey, how about a spooky Halloween story? Polly, I'm fed up with Halloween. It's boring. All right, you little shits, you just dug your own graves. Instead of reading a good Halloween story, Bazooie reads them some stupid, boring, foreshadowing fairy tale about a fairy godmother. Excuse me, tender and small, but I have refined taste when it comes to stories. I prefer stories about a girl having a spider lay eggs on her cheek or a little boy who ate a big toe he found in a graveyard. So yeah. Meanwhile, all the adults in town show up to this party and put their keys in the bowl by the door and are not in costume. It's one of those lame adult Halloween parties where you realize you really want to leave five minutes after showing up. I'll turn the pumpkin pie into spider stew. I'll turn the taffy apples into lizard. I think I might have figured out why nobody ever calls you witchy poo. Did I hear somebody ask an obscure Simpsons trivia question? Back to Bazooie, tender and small, being totally more exciting than Halloween trick-or-treating. And they lived happily ever after. Gee, Bazooie, we could have used the fairy godmother tonight. They are still bitching about not being able to terrorize their own neighbors. Jesus. If we had a fairy godmother, she could change me into a real ghost. <laughs> oh, honey, you can do that all on your own just by jumping off your roof. I wish I could be a real wolf man. Or you know you can ask the fairy godmother to be less annoying, small. Small, you can ask for that. Be less annoying, small. 
Their whining transcends time and space to reach Witchy Poo, who I guess got bored of the whole poisoning her guests idea, and farts her way over to Tender and Small's house where she dies by throwing herself through a window. <laughs> Fairy godmother, my foot! That's a wicked witch! So okay, I ain't the Avon lady. Well, at least she has a good sense of humor about it. Why is Bazooie the only one rightfully freaked out right now? They're kids, yeah, but even kids would understand that this is a little weird. Me! Me! Can I be a real wolfman? Please! Please! No, Small, don't do it! But out, pal. Can't you see the kid's got a real need here? So after a little more arguing and begging, the witch turns Small into a wolfman and Tender into a ghost. <laughs> With the same voice. All right. I kind of expected at least a deeper voice like this. <laughs> it's like if you come across Freddy Krueger and this is what he sounds like. Please, God. This is God. What would you really, really like to be on this scary old Halloween night? <laughs> oh, oh, God, so cheap as well, but he got the holy macro. One of Malicious's shoes. What? <laughs> Allow me to extend to you a most cordial invitation to this evening's festivities. I don't think these kids should be going to this party this late in the night, you know. Goodly kind of looks like he's the type of person that would lose his pants after his first drink. The four fly back to the witch's house where the pastel color adults are all making stuck in an elevator levels of terrible small talk. No one is doing shots. No one is making out with their kid's school coach. And this is supposed to be a party. And now, a dazzling display of magical mischief. <laughs> oh. I sure hope that wasn't a venomous spider. Oh. Nicely passed out. Already? The food! The food! This guy has his priorities straight. <laughs> Small and Tender get their wish and scare the hell out of all the adults, and they run right out the door and over the poor witch. Go! Oh, oh my devastated body. Kind of sounds like me every time I'm forced to do a push-up. Everybody was scared of us! Gee, nobody knew who we were. Uh, yes, but you don't- I don't think I want to scare people anymore. Mm. Mmm, you fucking kids. Mm. Eh, we don't like Halloween. It's boring because we can't terrorize the neighbors. Eh, Halloween is boring because we're terrorizing the neighbors. I, mmm, mmm. <sighs> you know what? I can't be too mad because this is very accurate to the way kids are. You ever had a kid ask for something then throw a tantrum because you gave them what they asked for? After the brilliant revelation that maybe people will hate or avoid you if you purposely try to scare them, the kids in Bazooie ask to be turned back into humans, or what the animators think are humans, but uh-oh. Some rat stole my magic wand! You mean we have to stay like this? this? You mean actions have consequences? We won't be able to, uh, relate to others. Even mommy and daddy. I mean, just give it a few years for the internet, kids. There will be plenty of weirdos for you to relate to. Meanwhile, the terrified town folk have all gathered to the square to look bored as hell. You know, maybe it's me, but if I thought that there was a bunch of monsters roaming around the town, you know, eating the townsfolk, I probably wouldn't be in the middle of town in a tightly knit group where there's no cover and no real place to run. Oh, please, like anybody would immediately notice that those three were missing. <laughs> Rotten and Malicious, being irritated by the stupidity of this entire town's adult population, notice Malicious has a wand stuck in her hair and practice using it, like three steps away from the crowd. I would criticize that fact, but these town folk are, um... It's all my fault! <laughs> Oh, me, me, me. Not everything is about you, goodly. Nicely suggests the monsters could possibly be good, and with a little rehabilitation, they may become a part of their society, to which goodly takes that to mean monster genocide. Everybody! Now I know. We are, we're, we're besieged by mysterious and terrifying monsters. We need action. Really living up to your name there, goodly. Destroy the monsters and rescue! It's incredibly scary how easily led this crowd is. As far as they know, the kids snuck out with the babysitter to go teepee houses. Yet they immediately jump on murder! The kids in Witchy Poo make their way down to the town to find out who stole her magic wand. There's monsters on 
on the rampage and we're gonna track him down! Dude was talking to an eight foot Frankenstein's monster. Someone covered head to toe in fur with a wolf face and a goddamn see-through person. And it still took him like six seconds to realize that. So this crowd doesn't clock that they're chasing creatures that are running away from them screaming in terror, huh? Who's the real monsters? They chase the kids in witchy poo into the woods until they manage to lose them by climbing up a tree. So what exactly did this crowd think they were gonna do once they caught these monsters? The townspeople have no weapons and one of the monsters is a ghost. Even if they corner them, the crowd is still weaponless crayon people and the monsters are well monsters. They have strength, magic, well as far as they know anyways, sharp teeth and claws. I don't think they thought this through. Meanwhile, Malicious and Rotten are trying and failing to work the magic wand, which alerts the group of its location. <laughs> the witch gets her wand back, then promptly turns Rotten and Malicious into the demons from Fantasia. It's kind of funny they're being punished for accidentally taking the wand. I mean, they didn't even know they had it until a few minutes ago. We're just ordinary people and well, these kids, I'm responsible for them and I just have to get the real tender and the real small back home. She's so annoyed they want to be changed back, but if I was saddled with these damn whiners, the second I got my wand back, they'd be turned back immediately. The crowd catches up to them, so she relents and turns the damn kids back to their human form, while Malicious and Rotten are beaten to death for being different. The end. Fear not, young people. You're safe now. God, Goodly is like a genuinely terrifying person. Those and aren't these monsters. People. That's rotten! And that's malicious! I demand an explanation. Oh, now you want an explanation. Look at the mess! Who's responsible? Someone's to blame for this! You! You! You fucking moron, you! You're the ones who trespassed on somebody else's property! Lost your minds and hunted down creatures you apparently can't tell the difference between because they scared you off the property you were trespassing on and assumed kidnapped your stupid offspring with no evidence whatsoever! If Witchy Poo incinerated every single one of you, then that would be a good ending. Maybe it's me. I don't know. I, I, I hate this town. Witchy Poo shows the crowd the kids were the monsters they were chasing, which impresses them now, I guess. Then asks the others what they would like to be for one night. Now you, my dear, what would you like to become for one little night, hmm? Dearie, yes? A vampire! <laughs> she said she wanted to be a vampire, not a batwoman in a bikini. Could I be a... A fairy princess? A veritable Tinkerbell. Well, aw, that's kind of adorable. I wonder what everybody else wants to be. Attila the Hun! <laughs> I am really not surprised you chose that particular historical figure there, Goodly. Make me a devil. I want to be a movie star. I want to be a coward. Make me a queen. Oh, oh, I want to be a pumpkin-headed skeleton bride. Um... This was a mistake. You know, most of these wishes could have been granted with a trip to Spear Halloween, guys. Okay, good. You know, they're being awfully trusting that this witch is gonna turn them back to normal after, you know, they kind of chased around the woods all night with the intention of murdering her. Come to my humble mansion and I'll turn everybody on! And that's Witch's Night Out. You know, I take the piss out of movies like this, but I actually really enjoyed it. It's a cute little Halloween special that's luckily gotten more attention since its release on DVD and Blu-ray. It's currently on Tubi, and hey, even if you don't like the movie, you can't deny that sweet theme song.